<laughs> um, you know, this is the third try on Denali, um, and every time I learn something new, and uh, this year I learned that I'm getting older, and it's a little harder to stay alive when you're 50, 51, I guess, so... It's you know it was a really it was a it was a hard trip for me because early on I got uh, a four foot snowfall that I had to dig out from and then right after that another three foot snowfall so what happened is um, I spent two full nights pretty much awake just digging out of the snow uh, trying to trying to keep from suffocating because I'm already in a snow cave to begin with and then. Um, and then just trying to keep the snow off my clothing and stuff. And then I, I got damp and uh, exhausted, got hypothermia, got weak in the early stages of the expedition. It took me a while to recover from that. And then, uh, and then I started feeling better about uh, 40, at 14,000 feet, doing well, and um, um, maybe a little overconfident, and uh, ended up going from 14 up to 15 where I put a cache, but then the next day I went from 14 all the way to 17, which uh, didn't allow for much acclimation and I ended up getting a little bit of, uh, oh, a little bit of pulmonary edema in my lungs. I had some fluid uh, develop in my lungs, so that made me weak. And when, excuse me, when you go up to 17,000 feet too, you can't carry everything in the kitchen sink with you. Just basically what's in a medium-sized backpack so I end up taking a fairly thin sleeping bag and 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 then being um, uh, getting up there and, and digging a snow cave uh, in in basically a combination of ice and snow which takes a long time about two and a half hours to dig a snow cave at night under headlamp um, I was uh, pretty tired by the time I got into my sleeping bag Cold most of the night, cold most of the second night, and uh, in my weakened state, and decided I couldn't make an attempt on the summit. And as it turned out, it was probably a pretty good idea anyways, because uh, late uh, on, on what we labeled as summit day, uh, that evening the, the winds were about 50, 60, maybe even 70 miles an hour, so I probably would have perished had I tried to tried to go uh, to the summit that day so I ended up coming coming back down and uh, tail between my legs but you know what the mountain's always there and I'm alive and things are good so uh, you know you never know maybe maybe four or five years down the road I'll give it another try when I'm a little wiser a little, <laughs> a little wiser maybe take a little thicker sleeping bag or I don't know <laughs> but anyways it's always going to be there